Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Tuesdays. This is the show where I talk about anything from the world of technology. And this week I'm doing a recap of April's Nintendo Direct. So to get started with Super Smash Bros. Mewtwo is coming April 15th for those who registered both versions of the game through Club Nintendo. And April 28th as paid DLC for everyone else. Lucas is coming in June. Me Fighter costumes are coming to both consoles as paid DLC. And there's going to be a new program where you can vote for characters to appear in the game. Um, is now available until October 20, October 13th. Wave 4 of the Smash Brothers Amiibo are coming in May, followed by more waves in July and September. May's wave includes Robin, Lucino, Wario, Pac-Man, Ness, and Charizard. And Virtual Console News, Nintendo 64 and DS games are finally being added to the Wii U eShop. Super Mario 64 and Yoshi's Island DS are now available for $9.99 each. And some other notable games... Mario Maker, the game which allows you to create your own Mario stages, is going to be released in September. Yoshi's Bully World will be released this fall. Splatoon is releasing May 29th with its own Amiibo line. Codename Steam is getting an update to increase enemy turns, a highly demanded update by fans. Puzzles and Dragons is getting a demo April 30th. Fatal Frame is coming to the West this fall, and Fire Emblem is coming in 2016. There are also several more indie games announced, which I will link to in the description if you're interested. Um, now on to Amiibo news. There are going to be three new Yarn Amiibos for the release of Yoshi's Woolly World along with Amiibos for Splatoon and a new card game for the upcoming Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer this fall. If you have an old 3DS, um, Nintendo is launching an NFC reader in order to use the cards with the game. And Amiibo Tap, Nintendo's greatest hits, is launching this spring and will allow you to play three minute demos of classic Nintendo games by using your Amiibo. And lastly on to Mario Kart 8. Nintendo closed with Mario Kart 8 with the new Animal Crossing DLC bringing new characters, cards, and tracks set to release April 23rd alongside a title update with more amiibos, costumes, and the new 200cc mode which is going to be faster than ever. So that's it for Tech Tuesdays guys. This was the roundup of some of the biggest news from April's Nintendo Direct. If there's anything you think that was important that I missed, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know what you think about all this DLC. What are you excited to see most from Nintendo this year? Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.